Welcome everyone to another video tutorial on SOLIDWORKS As you can see from the window over here and This is just another example of the assembly process Which consists of individual part and On the left over here, you can see the list of parts that have been used To compile or to combine into a single product like this to combine all these individual parts into a single product, you need to use this function called made over here. And all of this uh, process made is, is listed over here. So you can see there is a lot of process and you need to do this in order to combine all of the individual component into a single product. But first, you have to, to draw every single component that you want to combine and in this case there are 10 components minus one which is part number four it is not needed for this product since it is covered by set screw number one so before you can even start with the assembly process you have to be able to draw each of these individual components so let's start uh, in this video i'll be showing you how to assembly and I will not show you how to, to draw the individual part. So create new and click browse. Go to the list of part that you have already draw individually. Click base and click open. And you can see that this is the base part. Just click it over here. And this is your first part. Uh, insert your second component. In this case, the vice jaw and just click it anywhere you want so you need to be using a lot of your mouse over here and the first thing we need to do is to rotate this component so that this circular this circular angle are facing this area so click move component rotate component and just rotate the component like that once you've done that click ok so now we are going to start our mate process. So click mate and make selection, click this surface and this surface. As you can see the surface move and click yes. Make sure it is coincident. Click yes. And then we are still in the mate process. Uh, click this surface and also this surface. Click yes. What else? So click OK for now. We need to lift this up a bit because we want to select this bottom uh, surface. Before that, uh, click Mate. Uh, remove the surface. Click the bottom surface of this vise and the top surface of your base. And you can click also over here, Finish Mate. Click OK. From here, uh, you cannot move. Sorry. From here, you cannot move the vice simply because you have already make it become attached to this surface over here. So we want this vice to be able to move left and right. So click this plus over here and delete coincident part one. Okay. So now you can see it can move. Not only it can move, but now it can go through the parts. So we need to add some restriction over here so that the movement of this vice only up to a certain extent. So what we need to do, uh, click mate, click the surface over here and also the surface of the vice and click advanced mate. Click distance. And you have two options over here. So the bottom one put zero and the top one put 50. So click OK. So now uh, your vice can only move in the length that you have defined earlier. So click OK. Insert next component. In this case, let's insert the clamping plate. Put it over here. So 
this surface and this surface we're going to join it together click mate before that it's better if you can rotate the component a bit otherwise it has the possibility to mess up your your mating process so something like that click mate this one and this one click ok and then we are still in the mate process uh, click on the top and also over here click ok and last one this one and this one click ok so this has been attached to this side of your base now insert the second clamping component insert component browse clamping plate put it over here again rotate it first so click mate click on the surface that you want to be combined click ok click, click on the surface and this surface in this case it is a straightforward mate process we call it coincident it is actually by default so that's why we just click OK here and there. Click OK. And click Yes. So even if we move this uh, vise, the clamping plate also move together since we have defined this rectangle or clamping plate on this vise. So let's go ahead. Insert another component, browse. Let's go for joy screw. Okay, this is the joy screw. So click at the end of the surface, and then you want to choose the surface at the back over here. So let's start the process, click mate, select the surface that you want. And this is coincident, click OK. The next one is to click on the surface of the cylinder and then on the surface over here. And click OK. And click OK again. Insert another component. In this case, the screw bar. Okay. So this one goes in the middle of the hole over here. So mate. Click on the surface that you want to be combined. And click OK. So you can see that uh, no matter how I move the mouse, the movement of this component always through that circular bar but you can see it can also go even out of range so this is not what we intended to be we need to add some restriction so that the movement of this component only inside of this uh, part so we need it we need this component to be attached with the joy screw and screw bar so Click on the list of this joy screw and select the right plane. So click with this right plane selected, click mate. This is selected, the plane is selected. And then you want to select this surface over here. Click this one. And then go to advanced mate and this one. The distance put 42. Press OK. So now uh, the value 42 we, we inserted will make this component fixed to its position. Now we are going to include the handler for this part over here and this part over here. Insert component, browse, the bar globes, actually the name. So just put it over here. 
Uh, this one I already changed the appearances. That's why the color is a bit different. So now we are going to put this, uh, what we call it, bar globes into the handler over here. Click the mate process and click the surface inside of here of the globes and the surface over here. Click OK and then you might want to drag it out a bit. Again, we are still in the mate options. Click this shape outside this one. And also this surface. So just nicely it become combined together. So now we are going to include the second uh, globes over here. Go to insert component. Bar globes. Put it over here. And then mate, click on the surface that you want to choose. Click OK. So click mate, this surface, and this surface. Click OK. So now uh, at the bottom, insert another component. This is the base plate. Put it over there. And you need to rotate the thing first. So mate, this surface and this surface. Click OK. So this surface and this surface. Click OK. This surface and this surface. So you can see that uh, the the holes are not aligned. So actually we have inserted in the wrong direction so what you need to do is to delete all the previous mate process and this one go to this mate and at the bottom meaning that the latest one right click and delete click yes and right click and delete yes so we need to move this component something like that Okay, and then click OK. Start again with the mate process. This surface and this surface. Click OK and click OK and click OK. So now we are going to put uh, some screw over here. Insert component, browse, set screw number one. Okay, put it there. Again, you need to rotate the thing first. Something like that. Click OK. Uh, click mid. And click this surface and this surface over here. So let's find where have our screw gone to. Oh, over here. You can still move around. So the next step. Uh, this cylinder and the inside of this thing, click OK. And then this one and this one, click OK. So now uh, we are going to insert the same screw over here. And rather than going to insert component, browse and select all over again, 
you can simply using your control button hold your control button and click on the screw drag so you will duplicate the screw go to mate process this okay let's cancel over here clear selection start again this one and also this one click ok and this surface and this surface click ok so now uh, we have completed on this side we just need to mirror these three components to this side so in order to mirror all these three components we need to find the reference line first and in this case the easiest reference line should be the base so open the three base over here so choose the right plane right plane over here go to linear component and click mirror component so choose which component that you want to be mirrored one two and three and select this arrow over here so this is the preview and click ok ok done and the next thing is these two holes over here insert component browse and choose this oval filister put it over there and try to move the component first okay. now go to mate click this surface and this area click ok and then another surface and this one So how to select the okay this one click OK. Now we want to create the duplicate of the screw again by holding control, click on this component and drag it over here. Okay, you need to exit the mate process first. Okay, just like that. And to repeat mate surface of the okay let's clear the selection first okay let's start again click mate this surface and this surface over here so you can see that the screw are actually inside of this product so it's quite difficult to see you just need to to pull this out okay but you must not be in the mate option otherwise you cannot pull it out so again uh, better to pull it out further so easier to select click mate click this surface and also this surface click ok the last component is on the top which is the same screw so control hold control click and drag so rotate component Just like that click ok mate You can see the screw are inside of this thing. I'm not sure whether I can pull it out. So exit the mate process first. So cannot find the thing, so you just need to undo. Okay, so over here, so you need to start again. Click mate, this surface and this surface. Click OK 
in this surface and this area okay just nice and in this case the method of mate is concentrate usually the software will choose what is the best for your mate option so we just go ahead with it click ok and I think that's it the assembly process of this product click ok so again just to change your suitable material of your product so that it look nicer